Good afternoon, everyone. I'm James Crummel. Hours now until the polls open at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Candidates have one last chance to convince voters. Dennis Owens is here with our Election Eve story. <laughs> Hi, Dennis. Happy Election Eve to you. James, lots of money, lots of time, lots of attention on Purple Pennsylvania, and it all comes down to tomorrow. Obviously, the biggest race in terms of national attention is the U.S. Senate race between Republican Mehmet Oz and Democrat John Fetterman. That race could determine the balance of power in D.C. Polls showed Fetterman leading the whole way until last week when a Next Star Commission poll showed Oz now ahead by three for the first time. What do our analysts make of that? One of the things you want to look at in polling is the trend. And the trend uh, in this case is good for Mehmet Oz, who was at 36 in the first poll and now is 10 points above that. And John Fetterman, who had never uh, had any uh, kind of a strong detailed review of his record, has gone from the low 50s to, to, to the high 40s. So I'm going to stick with the prediction I made in mid-September that I think Oz wins with less than 50% of the vote. Polar coaster is worrisome. You know, you see polls all over the place, up two, down three, up 10, down one. I think the poll that matters is happening right now. It's happening tomorrow. It's hard to tell really what to expect out of this one. And I think it's invigorating that it's so close. The polar coaster, I like that. <laughs> Secretary of State reminded everyone today, if you have a mail-in ballot, to take them in in person, drop them off to your county's election office, or a drop box, and she said, do it today. Now, James, the state Supreme Court ruled last week that undated mail-in ballots, no dates on the outside envelope, should not be counted. The Wolf administration is now urging counties to notify those voters and let them come by and fix their ballots. If you know the outside envelope doesn't have it, call them, let them come down. It's called curing. They argue that the date is an insignificant mistake and should not disenfranchise a voter. Critics will argue what? When the Supreme Court makes a ruling you like, then you push it. And if right. they make a ruling you don't like, then you say disregard it. Not sure whether all of the counties have the ability to even do that. If one county does it and another doesn't, is that fair? We got more kinds of problems. Beginning of next year, when this legislature comes in, we have to fix these things. So everybody's doing the same thing. All the 67 counties, you can't have one county doing one thing and one doing another. Mm -hmm. That's no way to run a railroad, as Ed Rendell used to say. I, I feel like you said that two years ago. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm a broken record here. <laughs> and here we are again. Well, you see the kind of clout I have in Harrisburg. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you say it some more, they'll listen to you. I have another question for you, though, because we were talking about the Senate race, and we we're mm -hmm. talking about the importance of polls. I want to ask you about the governor's race, because the polls have been a lot different when it comes to that. It had Shapiro ahead for the entire time. And he stayed ahead. In fact, he's widened his lead. I think it's it's double nine, ten points. Now, I will say a lot of people saying uh, that's going to be closer than people think it is, mm -hmm. but, uh, but, but that's you know, they still think Shapiro has the lead. Does it seem like the Republican Party has given up on that race? You see many, many ads on TV and not many for Mastriano. Well, part of that is because he doesn't have the money to get ads up, up there. I do think there are some moderate Republicans that have defected and they're mm -hmm. not saying anything outwardly about him, but they're just not, they're not really uh, endorsing him or working for him either. Yeah. All right. But as we always say, the poll that matters happens tomorrow. It, it, yes. 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And by the way, we keep just talking about governor and Senate. There's lots of other things to vote for, important things that probably affect your daily life even more. Absolutely. Dennis, right. thank you very thank much. You. Appreciate your you election, Eve, helping us out. <laughs>